All right, so you want to become a six figure digital creator. In this video, I'm going to give you the roadmap to achieving that fit. And it's just in five steps. But before I get into it, I want to inform you that this video is brought to you by Mainstack. If you are a non technical creator, a digital creator, an entrepreneur, and you have a digital product to sell online, or you offer a coaching or consulting service online, Mainstack is the platform to use. Use Mainstack to sell your product to anyone in more than 125 countries across the world and get paid seamlessly sometimes into your local bank account so check out the link in the description to sign up for main stack and start selling your digital products today now let's get into the topic for today you want to become a six-figure digital creator there are five things you need to do and we've seen this from the many six-figure digital creators that uses the main stack platform so I'm bringing you this five steps from an aggregation of all the data that we have on our platform the first thing you need to have in your arsenal the first thing you need to master in order to become a six-figure data creator is to have a proven offer. In order to make money, you need to sell a product or provide a service that is in demand. As a non-vegan person, if someone came to me with a vegan diet, I'm not going to buy it. If I take a non-vegan diet to someone who is vegan or vegetarian, they will not necessarily buy from me because they are not my target audience. So you want to solve a problem that is begging for a solution. The mistake that I see a lot of people make is to provide a solution to a problem that's already been solved. Having your own two cents in a matter that's already done and dusted is not going to take you anywhere. Or you might want to improve on an existing solution, add your own flair to that solution, solve it your own way, but it has to be better than what is currently available. So if you want to solve a problem, one, you can either provide a novel concept that's not been done before or seen by anyone, or you can provide an improvement upon something that's already in existence. Two, try to get people to pay you for it. The best way to know if an idea is worth it is to get validation right away. Noah Kagan just released a book, Million Dollar Weekend, and in that book, he explains this concept so well. And he says that if you want to come up with a million dollar idea, you can literally validate this idea in 48 hours and know if this idea is going to make you money or not. So what you want to do is to approach the people around you. You need to go out of your way. Sometimes it's going to be uncomfortable. You need to go out and ask people for validation of your product or service. Now, if it's something that people want right away, they should be able to make some type of commitment. But if it's not, then you know that you either need to go back to the drawing board, improve upon your concept, or come up with a totally different idea. So having a perfect offer is going to be the biggest puzzle that you have to solve if you want to become a six-figure creator. Now, the next one is mastering a marketing channel. A lot of people want to do many things all at once. But my advice to you is to not be everywhere all at once. You want to pick a marketing channel that feels most convenient to you and master that channel. Do you prefer short form content or do you prefer long form content? You're watching YouTube videos right now probably because you prefer long form content. You want to build some type of relationship with the presenter or with the creator. If you prefer short form content, then maybe TikTok or Instagram Reels is the way to go. But whichever one you choose, make sure it's something that you can stick with for a long time. Do you prefer text-based content? Then you can either start a blog or start tweeting on X or maybe you want to go on a platform like Medium which is sort of like a YouTube but for writers. But you need to know that whichever platform you choose has to be something you want to stick with for the long term and something that feels super convenient for you and you can stick with for at least three to six months. So now that you've picked a channel then we go to the next step which is knowing your audience. Now from the moment you start getting validation for your offer you start to have some idea where your audience is. Are they male or female? What is their age bracket? What are their innermost desires? What is that pain point that they have that they need to find a solution to? In order to know your customers, you need to paint a picture of them, which in marketing we call the customer avatar. The customer avatar is a caricature of your ideal customer, which you can create either in your head or you can just write it down on a piece of paper. What is their age? Where do they live? What income bracket do they fall into? All of these things you need to know down to the tiniest detail. If it's true for one person, it's probably true for hundreds of thousands of other people. So the next thing you want to do is to tailor your message to your audience. Now you have a proven offer. You've chosen a marketing channel. You know who your customer is. 
it's time to speak directly to them. You want to ensure that you are answering specific questions about their problem and you're presenting your solution to them as the fix for that problem. For example, you're watching this video right now. I want to assume that you're watching because something about the title or the thumbnail resonates with you, hopefully, or maybe it doesn't, it doesn't matter, but you're here now. That's all that matters. The clearer and the more direct your messaging is, the better. So you also want to make sure that you're aiming to polarize. Now, this may be a little bit controversial, but I believe that polarization is really good. You want to make sure with your content, with the things you say, with the questions you answer, with the people you're talking to, you want to polarize and weed out the non-buyers from your audience. That is going to save you a lot of time, a lot of energy, and a lot of money for the down the line. Finally, you need a platform to sell your product. It doesn't matter what kind of product you sell, whether it's a digital product, a masterclass, a webinar, whatever it is, Mainstack Storefront allows you to do that seamlessly. If you want to get rid of all the rigors of setting up a website, building a website, setting up domain names, and all this technical jargon that goes on, Mainstack Storefront is that platform for you. We've seen everyone from coaches to consultants, data creators, entrepreneurs who wants to get paid in more than 125 countries across the world use Mainstack right now and making good money using it. So if you want to get started in less than five minutes, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Go sign up and let us know what you think in the comments. And outside of Mainstack Storefront, we also have a suite of products that you can use as well. If you're someone who's very active on social media, you can use the Mainstack link in bio to showcase all your links, sell your products, and aggregate all your content so that your viewers can enjoy them in a seamless manner. Again, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Go check it out. Let us know what you think. Thank you. Now we know what it takes to build a six-figure business, and we have been able to dial it down into all of these five steps. If you think I'm missing something, let us know in the comments down below. I would love to know. This video has been helpful. Consider subscribing, leave comments. We love feedback. We want to hear from you. Again, my name is Daniel, and I will see you in the next video. Take care now.